Good morning, T-Birds. I'm Tu. And I'm Stephanie. Today is November 9th, 2023, and you're watching Mount Tahoma TV. Dale, dale. If you are wanting to ride the student bus to Ferndale to support our football team, those tickets must be purchased today in office, at lunch, or after school. They are $20 with ASB and $23 without ASB, which pays for both the bus ride and your ticket into the game. There is no school tomorrow due to Saturday being Veterans Day. Tu and I had the chance to talk to some of the veterans that work here at Mount Tahoma and learn about their service. Let's check it out. So today I'm here with Mr. Gerbershack, Major Jeff Holmes, Mr. Juma, Commander Richardson, Leon Hatch. What do you remember the most about the day that you enlisted? Uh, so my mom had to sign for me, so it was pretty crazy because I was only 17 years old. I was pretty nervous because that was my first time that I would be, more than, be away from home for more than a week. Um, I really wanted to be in aviation, and I wasn't taking no for an answer, so I had to spend all day at the recruitment office until they gave me what I wanted. How old were you when you enlisted? I was 21. I was 18 years old. I listed when I was 17 and then I was 18 when I reported to basic training. What is the difference between uh, Veterans Day and um, Memorial Day? So the difference is Veterans Day is like to honor the people that are still alive and Memorial Day is to honor the people that have passed. What do you learn the most out of your time in the military? Really how much sacrifice is really going on out there in the world, um, around the world from our, our service members in every one of the branches and the duty of care they have for one another in the, in the military, but also a uh, duty of care for one another and people that they don't even know, people who are here and, and they're working to keep safe. So the whole thing is, uh, I think, um, really amazing, actually, and I've always been really proud to be part of it. Just uh, working as a team, uh, being a, a part of something bigger, than you um, and just uh, have an opportunity to serve to make things better for others. For me it was that your mind will quit long before your body does. In other words you could you could not realize you could walk 12 mile marches until you're all of a sudden going wow I, I did that. Why do you think uh, Veterans Day is like really important? I think Veterans Day is important because uh, I think we need to honor the people that uh, give up a big portion of their lives and their families' lives to help keep our country free. And they gave up sometimes their lives, but they sacrificed themselves and their own families just so you could be with yours. And we honor that. Thank you, veterans, for your service and sacrifice. Remember that uh, the fundraiser done by sophomore class of the, uh, on the 31st and 1st will be delivered today, but if you order on Wednesday, the first, there's a chance something went wrong with your order. And it's important that you stop by Ms. Seiler, room 913, to sort it out. Now, let's head to Andrea for sports reports. So, today in sports, uh, we're going to have a bowling game at 3 p.m. And it's against Spanaway. And then tomorrow, Friday, we have a football game, and it's at 7 p.m. So, remember, if you want to go, you got to purchase your ticket, okay? And... Lastly, uh, last weekend was the cross-country state competition where we had a T-Bird finish in the top three. Just was able to talk to him, so let's check it out. I'm here with... Jahazil. So I heard you won fourth place in state cross-country, cross so how do you feel about that? Um, it's just kind of, yeah, I could have did better. Nice. How, so how did you prepare for that? I have high expectations of myself and... Even if it's the worst that is possible outcome, I make the best of what I can. Okay, back to the desk. Thanks, Joss and Jazil. It's Thursday, which means that it's an it's uh, as an anchor. So today's question would be, um, what sport has the best athlete? In my opinion, it's soccer for you sure. Mean soccer? Yeah. I'm, you know what? I'm gonna say it's football because you know we made it to states playoff. You know what I'm saying? But. Yeah, I was totally not forced to say this. Yeah, totally not. <laughs> thank you for the question. Submit, thank you for the question. Submit your to yours to our Ask an Anchor Box for a chance to have it answered on the air next week. So uh, to end today's show, Joss has uh, some would-you-rather questions for our staff. 
Oh my gosh, are you the girl from the news? No. Nope. <laughs> I'm here with Miss Fernando. Okay, would you rather have pink eyes? <laughs> or would you rather have an ingrown, like, extra, like, toe? And the first one was what? Pink eye. Oh my goodness. But, like, really bad pink eye. Really bad. Like, someone, like, like, got, gave you, like, really big pink eye because, like, for some reason you were just out and about. Yes. Or an ingrown toenail. Yes. Um. <laughs> Oh, an extra toe. Oh my gosh. I think I'd rather have the pink eye. That would go away in a few days. How would that be beneficial? I'm here with... Mr. Case. Okay, so we have a would you rather question. Oh. Would you rather have your newborn puppy get taken by a, a eagle? <laughs> or have your cat ran over? I don't have a cat, so take my dog. It's peeing on the floor all the time. It's gonna ruin my floors. I didn't even want this puppy. Bye, y'all. That's it for today, y'all. Nationwide is on your side. Today's news. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Tu. And I'm Stephanie. Subscribe to us on YouTube to never miss a story. Once, Once a T-Bird, always, always a T-Bird. Have, Have a great, great day. day. <laughs>